Hi, welcome to chapter 9. So in this chapter we are going to see about the different types of cells that is present in the bones, the types of bones in the body, the compact and spongy bone and what is their structure. At the end of the session you will be able to clearly understand about the bones and this is going to be the basics for you to study other subjects like pathology, orthopedics and other subjects. Let's go into the session. Let's get a brief overview about the bones first. So you have cells, fibers and the matrix. The important point about the bone is that the matrix contains inorganic salts like calcium and phosphates that is going to give the hardness to the bone. So what is the bone first of all? It is a specialized connective tissue, am I right? So bones are rigid form of connective tissues. Matrix contains inorganic salts like calcium, phosphate, carbonates and these salts provide the hardness to the bone. We'll see more about it in a while. So what are the components of bones? You have cells, the fibers and the matrix. There are at least four types of cells in the bones. Number one, osteocytes and they are the bone cells. Osteoprogenitor cells and they are the stem cells present in the bones. The other two types are the osteoblast and the osteoclast. So this osteoblast or the bone forming cells and they contain an important enzyme called alkaline phosphatase. And the osteoclast, they are the bone destroying cells and they contain an important enzyme called acid phosphatase. If you compare the structure of these cells, the osteoclast is very different, am I right? So the surface has numerous folds like this and also it has many nucleus. Osteoblast or bone forming cells, osteoclast or bone destroying cells. Let's move on to see about the matrix. So the matrix are of two types here, one is organic and the inorganic matrix. What do you see in the organic matrix and what do you see in the inorganic matrix? Let's see a table. So the organic matrix is composed of proteoglycans, which is nothing but the proteins and the carbohydrates. We already saw this in the previous chapter. This contains abundant water. What is the type of collagen here? Type 1. You can remember like bone, B O N E, O N E for 1. Type 1. Osteonectin and osteocalcin are the glycoproteins and they are going to bind the calcium and helps in mineralization. So, if you think about the organic matrix, this is composed of proteoglycans, collagen type 1, the osteonectin, and osteocalcin. The inorganic matrix is very important to give the hardness to the bone. This contains hydroxyapatite crystals. And these crystals are needle shaped containing calcium phosphates and hydroxide ions. Just visualize some needle shaped crystals in the matrix here. And these crystals contain calcium phosphate and hydroxide ions. So this is about the matrix. You have to note one important point. The bone calcium and the serum calcium are balanced against each other. For example, say if the serum calcium is very low. Now the bone gets eroded and the calcium from the bones goes to the serum and maintain the serum calcium. And the vice versa is also true. If there is excess calcium in the serum, then those calcium gets deposited in the bone and helps in bone formation. What are the types of bones that is present in the human body? One is the compact bone. So this is the long bone here and this is you call it a shaft. So compact bone is present in the shaft of a long bones. And a second type of bone is a spongy bone. And this is present in the end of a long bones. So the ends of a long bones here, here and also in flat bones. 
Now we'll see a schematic representation of the spoon so that you understand these structures very clearly. Okay, so this is the long bone and here is the compact bone and here is a spongy bone. So this is the compact bone and the spongy bone. This compact bone is covered by periosteum. And here is a cavity that is present in the compact bone that is filled with bone marrow. This cavity is lined by end osteum. What about the spongy bone? You have a meshwork of plates in the spongy bone. So this meshwork of bones that contains spaces and in these spaces you can see the bone marrow. So here you see the yellow marrow and here you see the red marrow because the blood producing cells are found here. Now we are going to talk about the structure of a compact bone in detail and then we'll go over the spongy bone. But before that, I want to discuss one important term. What is lamellae? Now imagine I'm taking a section here. You can see many sheets of bones like this. These sheets of bones we call it as lamellae. And in between the lamellae, we have some space which is called lacuna. And in this lacuna, osteocytes are present. Osteocytes are the bone cells. One additional point in this diagram. These lacuna are interconnected by canals. We call it as canaliculi. I didn't mention here but just imagine you have some fine canals that interconnects the lacuna. So let's see the text. The lamellae or sheets of bone. In between the lamellae, lacuna is present. Osteocytes are present in lacunae. Now this lamellae has different type of arrangements in the compact bone and the spongy bone. Now let's see about the compact bone. So I said about the lamellae. There is different types of arrangements in the compact bone and the spongy bone. In the compact bone, you can see the concentric lamellae. So these are all the concentric lamellae that is centered around a canal which we call it as Haversian canal. And this canal is going to contain the blood vessels, nerves and other cells. And this whole structure is called osteons. So just visualize the compact bone to be containing many osteons. Let's see the text. So the compact bone is made of osteons. So osteons or concentric lamellae arranged around Haversian canal. So what is the Haversian canal? This canal is going to contain the blood vessels, nerves and some cells that supplies the bones. Let's see the exact structure of a compact bone. So where I have taken this section? Here. Fine. So here is a bone marrow. Outside is the periosteum. And these are all the osteons. So osteon, this is the periosteum. And there are still two more types of lamellae present here. One is this interstitial lamellae. Because this is present between the osteons. And here is the circumferential lamellae and this will be seen below the periosteum. So this is concentric lamellae, here is interstitial lamellae, this is circumferential lamellae. The last point here, these Haversian canals are interconnected by one more canal. Let's see another picture. So here is the Haversian canal. And interconnecting the Haversian canal is the Oakman's canal. And this canal also connects the bone marrow inside and also the periosteum outside. This canal is also important for supplying the bone with blood and nerve supply. Let's see about the spongy bone. So here is a spongy bone that is present in the end of a long bones and also in flat bones. And this contains a meshwork of bony plates. We call it as trabeculae. 
and in between this trabeculae we have some spaces containing the bone marrow so let's see the text it is composed of trabeculae what is this trabeculae it is meshwork of bony plates and this trabeculae is going to contain the lamellae so lamellae are nothing but the sheets of bones so it encloses a cavity that containing bone marrow let's see about the spongy bone structure in detail so here is the trabeculae so the trabeculae is going to contain the lamellae so lamellae are nothing but the sheets of bones in between the lamellae you have lacuna osteocytes are present in the lacuna fine so this is the trabeculae and here is the bone marrow which is present in the spaces that is enclosed between the trabeculae and in this bone marrow you can see the hematopoietic stem cells which produces the blood cells like red blood cells or white blood cells or platelets fine now what we are going to do is to see the exact histology picture of a compact bone and a spongy bone that is going to be very easy for you now first let's see about the compact bone histology you can see many osteons i'm taking one osteon and zoom it here so here is the haversian canal that is surrounded by concentric lamellae you can see the osteocytes that is present in the lacuna and here is a canaliculus which is nothing but a fine canals that interconnects the lacuna so this is one osteon you have many osteons like this in the compact bone you can also notice the Oakman's canal that interconnects the haversian canals fine let's see about the spongy bone so here is the trabeculae this trabeculae is going to contain the lamellae and the osteocytes are present in the lacuna these are all the osteocytes enclosing a space between the trabecula you have the bone marrow and these are all the cells you have lot of hematopoietic stem cells here and lot of clear cells here and these are the fat cells so as we age these fat cells goes on increasing i hope you really enjoyed this session now you have a clear picture of a compact bone and a spongy bone am i right so i've left some question marks here you just recall all these points and keep on practicing these histology images when you read other subjects like pathology or orthopedics that is going to be really easy for you i'll see you next session we are going to see about the lymphatic system we are going to talk about the spleen lymph nodes thymus very interesting see you then